um, it's Victoria. Um, so this is my first video on YouTube that I made. Um, I kind of did like a bronze, I played it safe. I did a bronze eye. I posted this look on Instagram a couple days ago. Um, and I thought it looked really cute to do as a first video. Yeah, I just hope you guys like it. Um, subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment, whatever. Um, um, so yeah, enjoy. Thank you. So my editing skills kind of took out the first piece to this, but the product I'm using is the KTB Dip Brow in medium brown, and I'm using a KTB 201 angled brush. And just brushing that product through my eyebrow hairs and to clean them up I'm gonna use this Tarte shape tape concealer this is in a light neutral and I like to use this Morphe I don't know what the name of it's called or the number like M1 something but it's kind of like an angled brush and I start from right underneath the arch and then I just buff it out that way when I put my primer on it's all even okay. to prime my skin I'm gonna take the max prep and prime natural radiance base this is like an oil control so if you get super oily And I mostly put it in my T-zone. Okay, so now that's applied, I'm going to take the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in 4.5. And this is just to bronze. To get that natural bronze. And I'm going to take my Beauty Blender. It's damp. Already. Velvet Cream Foundation. This is in 06 and 03. They're a, one's pink tone, one's yellow tone. Okay, and the last part for the foundation, this is real extra, you don't have to do all these steps if you don't want to. This is the Hourglass um, Vanish Stick in Linen. This is to bring like a natural highlight to my, or to the skin. Highlight. I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape, the same one that I used to conceal my eyebrows, or clean up my eyebrows, whatever you want to call it. Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm gonna set the whole face and make sure your creases are blended before you set because honey it ain't gonna look right <laughs> And I'm gonna take a little bit with my finger. Just take my hand and hold me tight. You'll never find my okay. And then set that with the Laura Mercier. Mercier, whatever her name is. I don't know how to say it. The Laura powder. 
and make sure the streaks are blend or you don't have any lines. Now I'm taking the Mac saddle, yeah, saddle right here. I'm taking a Morphe blending brush, the R30 something, the rose gold one. This This is the 35B. It's like all bronze. It's a really good palette for your kit if you're freelancing because Lord knows I use all these shades. Okay, so I'm going to take uh, this brown right here. It's just... <laughs> BH Cosmetics, like a little tapered brush, like this. And then I'm gonna pick up the shade. I'm gonna get this one first and then I'm gonna mix it with this one. So, this two, one, two. Darker shade, and then just pop it in there. same brown that I used on my um, liner on my lash line and then I'm taking a, like a tighter more dense blending the lid, I'm gonna take uh, these two shades I'm putting the darker one on First, and then I'm gonna put the lighter gold in the center. That way, it kind of just brings it all forward. And then I'm gonna take the Mario Badescu spray, rose petal spray, and just kind of like spray the rest, the brush, just so the pigmentation appears brighter. take the middle sh or the lighter gold shade and then just place that in the middle and that's how it should look so far real cute mm -hmm. yeah okay okay so now I'm gonna spray the Mario setting spray, whatever setting spray you have. Then I'm gonna take my sponge and kinda of just press the powder in. And then I'm gonna take the Morphe M433 brush like this and then just kinda of buff out all the paper. <laughs> all the And then I'm gonna take my MAC Studio Fix in NC25 and then set the whole highlighted area with this now to bronze I'm gonna take the benefit hula light bronzer um, and then bronze <laughs> this one these are the only two that take a beating the most. And then to contour, I'm going to take the NYX palette I'm gonna take this one no just kidding this one this and then 
for the blush, I'm going to take the Benefits California blush, the one that's in this palette. And you buy me Okay, so next I'm going to do my highlights. I'm going to take the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering something. It's this opal one. And these are not as harsh as like a regular highlight would be. So now for my nose contour, I'm going to take my NYX and that same powder that I contoured with. And then I'm going to go back with the highlights and do my nose and then here, here, and then my forehead. Next, for to carve out my contour, um, I don't use setting powder because it kind of looks really harsh, so I'll just take my Studio Fix and then kind of just bring it like this with the sponge. Under eye, I'm going to take the same, the MAC Saddle Shadow first with like um, this little brush, where'd it go? With the little flat, the flat brush and just pop some of that underneath there. And then I'm just going to go back in and dust off this powder. Okay, so now I'm going to take my lip liner. This is from LA Girl. This is the natural cream one. Um, and I'm just going to go in and line my lips. I blend my lip liner and I kind of brush it with my finger that way it's kind of not like just like a chilling line whatever and then I'm gonna take the Too Faced uh, melted chocolate honey liquid lipstick or long wear lipstick whatever For my gloss, just to give me like a little bit more of a pout, I'm going to take the Pinky Rose Boss Gloss and then just kind of place this in the center. And then I'm going to take the Big Shot Mascara for my lashes. Okay, you. And then for my lashes, I'm going to take the uh, Flutter Lash Intoxicating ones. They're the mink lashes. And then just pop them in there. Okay. And then I kind of have a little bit of glitter fallout, so I'm just going to dust that off. And then for my brows, my little trick. I take glue. I normally take the duo, the latex one, because it's kind of like better. But I'm just going to take a spoolie and then a little bit of eyelash glue and then kind of just run it through my eyebrow. And then I'm just going to spray my face with the Mario setting spray. They have this one and they have a cucumber one. This one's okay, so that is pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. It was my first YouTube video, so kind of don't judge me. I tried my best. Um, so yeah, uh, follow me on Instagram and my Snapchat. Um, I'll leave the links below. Let me know what you guys want to see. So yeah, um, follow, like this video, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.